Hello and welcome to Quiz Time. I'm Jess and today I've got 100 questions on 50s, 60s and 70s music. So, are you ready? Let's go. Which 1950s artist is known for hits like Johnny Be Good and Roll Over Beethoven? Fats Domino, Chuck Berry or Jerry Lee Lewis? It's Chuck Berry. The 1957 hit song Great Balls of Fire was sung by Buddy Holly, Little Richard or Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis. Which female artist co-wrote the hit single Tutti Frutti with Little Richard in 1955? Brenda Lee, Wanda Jackson or Dorothy LaBost? Dorothy LaBost. Which 1950s artist had a hit with blue suede shoes? Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins or Roy Orbison? Carl Perkins. Who was the lead vocalist of the Beatles? John Lennon, Paul McCartney or George Harrison? John Lennon. What was the title of the US version of the Rolling Stones debut album released in 1964? Out of Our Heads, England's Newest Hitmakers or Aftermath? It was England's Newest Hitmakers. No multiple choice, what is the title of Buddy Holly's debut studio album? Buddy Holly. Which song by the Supremes became their first number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in 1964? Where Did Our Love Go? Stop in the Name of Love or You Can't Hurry Love? It was Where Did Our Love Go? What was the title of Bob Dylan's influential 1963 album that featured the song Blowing in the Wind? The Times They Are A Changing, Highway 61 Revisited or Freewheeling Bob Dylan? Freewheeling Bob Dylan. Which artist released the hit single Respect in 1967? Aretha Flank Franklin, Dionne Warwick or Diana Ross? It was Aretha Franklin. The song I Want to Hold Your Hand was a hit by which artist? The Rolling Stones, The Beatles or The Supremes? Of course, The Beatles. Which artist released the hit single Superstition in 1972? Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye or Michael Jackson? A great song. It was released by Stevie Wonder. Are these bringing back some wonderful memories for you? What was the title of Pink Floyd's 1973 album that features the concept of a dark side of human nature? Animals, The Wall or Dark Side of the Moon? The Dark Side of the Moon. Who released the hit single Bohemian Rhapsody in 1975? Elton John, Queen or the Rolling Stones? Of course it was Queen. What was the title of Bob Marley and the Wailers 1977 album that became a reggae classic? Exodus? Natty Dread or Catch a Fire. 
It was Exodus. What was the title of ACDC's 1979 album that includes the tracks Highway to Hell and Girls Got Rhythm? Highway to Hell. Which artist had a hit with the song Peggy Sue in 1957? Buddy Holly, Little Richard or Chuck Berry? Buddy Holly. Which record label did Berry Gordy establish in 1959? Atlantic Records, Motown Records or Tamla Records? It's Motown Records. What was the first hit single for the girl group, The Shirelles? The Shirelles. Will You Love Me Tomorrow? Dedicated to the one I love or Soldier Boys? Boy. Will You Love Me Tomorrow? The 1959 hit song, What Did I Say? was sung by Little Richard, Ray Charles or Fats Domino. It was Ray Charles. Which song by the Penguins became a doop whoop classic in 1954? Earth Angel, In the Still of the Night or The Great Pretender? Earth Angel. Who had a hit with the song Yakety Yak in 1958? The Coasters, The Drifters or The Platters? The Coasters. Which artist had a hit with Blueberry Hill in 1956? Fats Domino, Jerry Lee Lewis or Chuck Berry? Fats Domino. What was the title of the Jimi Hendrix Experiences debut album released in 1967? Are you experienced? The hit song My Generation was sung by which musician? The Kinks, The Who or The Yardbirds? It was The Who. What was the title of Elvis Presley's 1969 comeback album? Elvis is back from Elvis in Memphis or Elvis Golden Records? From Elvis in Memphis. Who released the hit single I Heard It Through the Grapevine in 1968? Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder or The Temptations? Marvin Gaye. What was the title of the Beatles' 1967 album that featured songs like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds and A Day in the Life, Rubber Soul, Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band or The White Album? Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Which song by the Monkees became their first number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in 66? Last Tone to Clarksville, Daydream Believer or Pleasant Valley Sunday? Last Train to Clarksville. Who released the hit single Hey Jude in 1968? The Rolling Stones, The Beatles or The Supremes? It was the Beatles. 
which artist released the hit single Stayin' Alive in 1977, ABBA, The Bee Gees or Donna Summer? It was The Bee Gees. Which artist sang the 1976 hit Hotel California in 1976? Eagles, Lynyrd Skynyrd or the Doobie Brothers? It was the Eagles. Which artist released the hit single Rihanna Nunn in 1975? Carly Simon, Fleetwood Mac or Stevie Nicks? Fleetwood Mac. What was the title of Pink Floyd's 1977 album that includes the track Shine On You Crazy Diamonds, The Wall, Wish You Were Here or Animals? Wish You Were Here. What was the title of Elton John's 1971 album that includes the hit Tiny Dancer? Madman Across the Water. The 1971 hit single Maggie May was sung by Rod Stewart, The Rolling Stones or The Who. Another fabulous song, Rod Stewart. Which artist released the hit single, Sweet Home Alabama, in 1974? ZZ Top, The Allman Brothers Band, or Lyn Lynyard Skynyard? Lynyard Skynyard. The 1973 hit, The Joker, was sung by who? The Doobie Brothers, Stevie Miller, Steve Miller Band, or Boston. It was Steve Miller Band. Which artist released the hit single "You're So Vain" in 1972? Another song that's fabulous. He walked into a party like he was walking onto a yacht by Carly Simon. Which song by Prince topped the charts for five weeks in 1984? Purple Rain, When Doves Cry or Kiss? It was When Doves Cry. Who was the lead vocalist of the American rock band The Doors, known for hits like Light My Fire and Riders of, on the Storm, Jim Morrison, Ray Manzarek or Robbie Krieger? Jim Morrison. Which American singer released the album Tapestry in 1971, featuring songs like It's Too Late and You've Got a Friend, Carole King, Joni Mitchell, or Carly Simon. Carol King. Who was the lead guitarist and co-founder of the American rock band Aerosmith in the 1970s? Joe Perry, Steven Tyler or Brad Whitford? It was Joe Perry. What Swedish pop group released the hit song Dancing Queen in 1976? ABBA, Roxette or Ace of Bass? It was of course ABBA. Who released the hit single Turn, Turn, Turn in 1965? The Birds. What was the title of the Beatles' 1963 album that includes the songs She Loves You and I Want to Hold Your Hand? It 
It was with the Beatles. Who is often referred to as the godfather of reggae and released songs like No Woman No Cry and One Love, Jimmy Cliff, Toots and the Maytals or Bob Marley. Of course it was Bob Marley. Who is known as the Queen of Motown and recorded hits like My Guy in the 1960s, Gladys Knight, Diana Ross or Mary Wells. Mary Wells. The 1961 hit song Stand By Me was sung by who? Benny King, The Drifters or Sam Cooke? It was Benny King. Which artist released the hit single I'm a Believer in 1966? The Monkees, the Turtles or the Loving Spoonful? Of course, the Monkees. Halfway there, how are you doing? If you're a music fan, I'm sure you're doing well. What was the title of The Who's second studio, uh, studio album released in 1966? My Generation, A Quick One or The Who Sell Out? A Quick One. Who had a hit with the song The Sound of Silence in 1965? The Mamas and the Papas, The Birds or Simon and Garfunkel? Simon and Garfunkel. Which artist released the hit single White Rabbit in 1967? Jefferson Airplane, The Mamas and the Papas or The Doors? Jefferson Airplane. Which artist released the hit single Groovin' in 1967? The Young Rascals, The Association or The Lovin' Spoonful? The Young Rascals. The 1969 hit song Sugar Sugar was su a song by the Archies, the Beach Boys or the Turtles? Are you singing it? It was the Archies. The 1968 hit song Crimson and Clover is a song by who? The Zombies, Tommy James and the Shondells or the Trogs? Tommy James and the Shondells. Which artist released the hit single Everybody's Talking in 1968? Harry Nilsson, The Loving Spoonful or The Birds? Harry Nilsson, another great song. Who had a hit with the song Green Onions in 1962? Booker T and the MGs, The Ventures or The Shadows? Booker T and the MGs, did you get that one? Who recorded the hit song Bye Bye Love in 1957? The Everly Brothers, Buddy Holly or Ricky Nelson? The Everly Brothers. What was the title of the first studio album by Bill Haley and his Comets? Rock and Roll Stage Show. Who had a hit with the song Blue Jean Bop in 1956? Eddie Cochran, Gene Vincent or Carl Perkins? It was Gene Vincent. What was the title of the first studio album by Little Walter, a blues harmonica player? 
the best of little Walter, hate to see you go, or little Walter and his dukes. It was the best of little Walter. Which artist released the hit single Why Do Fools Fall In Love in 1956? The Coasters, Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers or The Five Satins? Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers. What was the title of the debut studio album by the Chiffons, a girl group formed in 1958? He's so fine, one fine day, or sweet talking guy. He's so fine. Who recorded the hit song 16 Tons in 1955? Tennessee Ernie Ford, Johnny Cash, or Hank Williams? Tennessee Ernie Ford. Which song by The Platters became a hit in 1959 and is considered one of their signature songs? Only You and You Alone, Twilight Time or The Great Pretender? The Great Pretender. The 1958 hit song Sweet Little Sixteen was a song by Chuck Berry, Little Richard or Buddy Holly. Chuck Berry. Which artist released the hit single Personality in 1959? Little Richard, Lloyd Prince or Fats Domino? It was Lloyd Prince. The 1959 hit song A Teenager in Love was a song by which musicians? Dion and the Belmonts, Ricky Nelson or the Everly Brothers? It was Dion and the Belmonts. The 1956 hit single My Boy Lollipop was by My Boy Lollipop doo -doo -doo -doo. Bringing back so many memories these ones, yes? Millie Small, but did you get it? What was the title of Bob Marley and the Wailers 1978 album that includes the hits Is This Love and Satisfy My Soul? Natty Dread, Kaya or Exodus? It was Kaya. Which artist released the hit single Take It Easy in 1972? The Eagles, the Doobie Brothers, or Credence Clearwater Revival? It was the Eagles. What British rock band released the album Revolver in 1966, featuring innovative and experimental soundscapes? The Rolling Stones, The Who, or The Beatles? The Beatles. What was the title of Queen's 1977 album that includes the hits We Will Rock You and We Are The Champions, A Night at the Opera, Sheer Heart Attack or News of the World? News of the World. Sweet Emotion was a 1975 hit song by Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin or Kiss. It was Aerosmith. What was the title of Steely Dan's 1977 album that includes the hits Peg and Deacon Blues? Pretzel Logic, Countdown to Ecstasy or Aja? Aja. What was the title of ACDC's 1976 album that includes the track Dirty Deeds Done Dirty Dirt Cheap, Let There Be Rock, 
Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap or High Voltage. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Joy to the World is a 1971 hit song by who? Three Dog Night, The Hollies or The Guess Who? Three Dog Night. What was the title of David Bowie's 1976 album that includes the hit Golden Years, Station to Station, Diamond Dogs or Young Americans? Station to Station. Which artist released the hit single Barracuda in 1977? Fleetwood Mac, Heart or The Runaways. Heart. What was the title of The Who's 1969 rock opera album that tells the story of a deaf, dumb and blind pinball player? Tommy, Who's Next or The Who by Numbers? Tommy. What was the title of Led Zeppelin's 1970 album that includes the tracks Immigrant Song, Physical Graffiti, Led Zeppelin 3 or Led Zeppelin 4? Led Zeppelin 3. Who released the hit single Downtown in 1964? Petula Clark, Dusty Springfield or Nancy Sinatra? Got you singing that now. It was by Petula Clark. Which artist released the hit single House of the Rising Sun in 1964? The Animals, The Yardbirds or The Kinks? Which artist released the hit single The Animals? Which song by The Hollies became a hit in 1966 and is considered a classic? Bus Stop, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother or The Air That I Breathe? Bus Stop. What was the title of the Rolling Stones 1965 album that includes the hit Get Off My Cloud, Out of Our Heads, Aftermath or December's Children and Everybody's. December's Children and Everybody's. What was the title of the Supremes 1969 album that included the hit Someday We'll Be Together? Let the Sun Shine In, Cream of the Crop or Love Child? Cream of the Crop. What was the title of the Beatles' 1964 album that includes the songs Can't Buy Me Love and I Love Her? Beatles for Sale, Help or A Hard Day's Night? A Hard Day's Night. Which artist released the hit single Brown Eyed Girl in 1967? Van Morrison, The Turtles or The Mamas and the Papas? Van Morrison. Who released the hit single Sweet Caroline in 1969? Neil Diamond, The Beach Boys or The Turtles? Neil Diamond, another great song. What was the title of the first studio album by Eddie Cochran? Singing to my baby, Eddie Cochran, or Never to be Forgotten. Singing to my baby. Who had a hit with the song Splish Splash in 1958? Bobby Darren, Frankie Avalon, or Bobby V? Bobby Darren. 
which song by the four lads became a hit in 1953 and is considered a classic. Moments to remember, Standing on the Corner or Istanbul, not Constantinople. Istanbul, not Constantinople. Who recorded the hit song Rebel Rouser in 1958? Link Ray, Dwayne Eddy or Chet Atkins? Dwayne Eddy. Which artist released the hit single Sea of Love in 1959? Phil Phillips, Bobby V or Richie Valenz? Phil Phillips. What was the title of the first studio album by Bobby Darren, released in 1958? That's all. Bobby Darren or Splish Splash. Bobby Darren. What was the title of the first studio album by the Crickets, Buddy Holly's up band? The Chirping Crickets, That'll Be The Day, or Rockin' At The Hops. The Chirping Crickets. Who had a hit with the song Bridge Over Troubled Water in 1969? The Beatles, Simon and Garfunkel, or The Supremes? Simon and Garfunkel. Who released the hit single Imagine in 1971? Elton John, Bob Dylan or John Lennon? John Lennon. And your last one. What was the title of Fleetwood Mac's 1977 album that became one of the best-selling albums of all time? Fleetwood Mac, Rumours or Mirage? It was Rumours. So how is your 50s, 60s and 70s music? Drop your score in the comments below and of course like and subscribe so you get notified every time we post a new quiz and join us next time on Quiz Time.